I like that he's, he's using the uh, neutral bait to try to like give himself some breathing room, but like you're gonna see a lot of down tilts oh, oh, coming up from Kia. Oh wait, okay, he get the second one. No, Sen, you are yes. a god. This is godsend right here. Good lord. Yeah, okay. if you if you use that PK Thunder, you slam into that floor, the, the bottom of the stage, you can use it for another refresh, catches the landing or the falling of Luigi with another forward air, three stocks to one. You really got to find a way to get in and as safely as possible because there's no doubt in my mind that you're going to get some trades in here, okay? Not all these hits are going to be clean. Do you have enough percent here on your final stock to toss around? No way. Oh, well, that should be it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's catch it. Yeah. He caught him with the tail, dude. The tail of the PK Thunder off the end. That's pretty much what's gonna seal that stock. I mean, that that was a beautiful combo. The way he just like you're kind of getting you're kind of getting danced on. But I can't deny that Sen played so well off stage versus Kia Rash. Oh my goodness! The jab lock right into the super jump punch. Luigi laying out the big combos here. Yeah, I mean, he got so much in the last game off of just dipping down with like forward air and air. Again, two options. Really, if you just flick the C stick in any direction. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. He said, uh, send my brother. How about you ascend up here into this blast zone? Not seeing too many fireballs coming out from Kia Rash, which is a lot of Luigi's neutral game plan. Like that's that's his huge part of his kit. And it's because he really can't do anything, especially oh. when he's off stage. Again, just eating up his recovery, looking for that potential opening with a fireball. It gets grabbed up throw, not gonna get the kill. Ooh. Using PK Thunder gets caught by the normal one and not the big boy. Bets it all on the down B, gets punished by the back air, still alive, 160%. Can he get back to the stage? Eats through the PK Thunder with an up air, but gets caught by the nair. That is gonna be another game and send the reverse three stock. That was like almost in the back for Kia Rash and Sen just said, nah, man, this is my game. A few moments ago, using like grab at the ledge to constantly reposition him and good Lord, putting Sen in the position for another up special Kia Rash. Good Lord, he is just yeah, on the left today. Okay, that looks slimy, dude. Uh, Kia Rash was running into him, I'm pretty sure he wasn't expecting the full frontal assault from that PK Thunder. I thought maybe he was gonna like jump, but then he just got caught. So there was something that went wrong there. And that's gonna put Sen in a fantastic positioning to take home this set, dude. One stock away, making guaranteeing himself in winner's finals. You get the Luigi Cyclone, that, that's frame one, dude. Like it comes out super quick. Yeah. Speaking oh. of, gonna be able to get a combo off of it yet again, off of the throw, gets the stock off the top, and now all of a sudden, Kia Rash has some fight left at him. You gotta be fearless, man. Just as fearless as tossing oh. there on the shield while you're caught into the corner. Okay, trying to hit him with the fireworks. He's no done. PK Thunder. Yeah. And yeah, out of gas, Luigi. Great recovery system, but it's like a game of Jenga, though. If you take one piece away from it, it just all falls apart. Phenomenal job by Sen. You know what I'm saying? When he is off of his feet, Ike can certainly have his way with him. Oh! Oh! oh my god, he converted off of that. Very fantastic stuff. You know, just getting it off that explosion up till it's not gonna kill just yet. Ike's a big boy. Gonna be able to try to get as much damage as possible. Continues the combo going, reads the air dodge, and continues it off of the throw. And that's exactly the type of gameplay you're gonna have to do against Sting to try to get, but he forgot about the C4! And MBD is just taking this home. 141% has him off stage. Even if Hanayome gets this stock, it's just not gonna work. And yet another C4 again on the platform. You can definitely tell. So I would like to see maybe a potential Cromeroy make an appearance because they can be, or, or Sephiroth. You know, Sephiroth's also another ideal. Even though not quite as fast as Cromer Roy has a big, big sword, and snakes love, 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 love to recover high. And oh, he got caught by the Nikita, but he's still alive. 156. He's trying to avoid it, but MVD's on him like a hawk. You can't get away from that explosion. I mean, of course, Hanayome off of their feet has to figure out something and quick here. Again, I like the switch to Sephiroth. I get it. He has the he has the range to punish Snake off stage, which was an area that he was really struggling. That gets the stage tech, but it is not enough. Hanayome hanging on here for dear life. Two stocks apiece, 75%. Okay, MVD has the snapshot. Okay, doesn't quite get any sort of follow up after. <laughs> Sir? Sir! If you roll left, up. that would have been the game. Wait a damn minute here. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, and it's, it's kind of working. Like he's at 86%. MBD does have the lead. He's playing aggressive now, trying to combo him into that grenade. I love that placement because he put the grenade on the top platform in order to toss Sephiroth up there. And now playing around the platforms, getting a little too overzealous again. He He's so hungry for these flashy combos that eventually he's going to catch it, but he's just going to mash up till he just rolled in there. He just rolled the black wing, the one winged angel. Here we go. Yeah, he got the Buffalo Wild Wing real quick, man. And it's sad, <laughs> it's sad to see because, like, you know, he, he got, He's got the Buffalo sauce. Sport. Oh, my Lord Jesus. He most certainly does. And it is very spicy out there. This is super unfortunate. Hanayomi trying to get back to the stage. Gets caught by the Nikita missile. That's such a good advantage. 
off the mark with the down smash. I would like to say that was going to be a read, but that's neither here nor there at this point. And neither is that stock. MVD looking damn good. C4 under Hanayome right there. Got to stay very mindful. You have the wing online, so you have another jump at your disposal. Great B reversal and get the heck off me. I need to get back onto the stage. Oh, my Lord. He had him off stage. 123. Traded positions. He's got a little bit overzealous. Avoids the C4. Opting to go for the high route. Down smash to at least try to poke him. Does shield damage. Goes for the immediate counter. MVD is going to come in. Punish him after the aftermath. Get the stock. 3-0. MVD finds himself with a trip. A one-way ticket to winner's finals. And I like the slow pace he's taken, right? Because you're fighting against the likes of Luigi, who... He, that's exactly all he wanted. He wanted to get so much damage off that. Misses the super jump punch, but we have a punish miss. Krom's best, uh, oh, reset. Reset. We're taking, we're just, that, this is a two stock match now. This is Krom and Roy we're talking about. This is really just the Fire Emblem characters in general. Majority of them are very strong in that type of fashion. There's a down throw though. And yes, Krom, as terrifying as he is, he is most certainly combo food there. I don't know if he's canonically heavy like that in his own game, but in this game, Luigi is all about that weight. He is definitely sticking it to him. There's the down air and the up. He shouldn't close it out. You should have stayed in Fire Emblem, homie. The fact that he is just eating up so much of that percent with just jab, my lord. I mean, it's really telling on how this matchup's going. Hanayome doing a fantastic job again, holding on to his double jumps. Gets a clean 26 off that up B. Chases him off stage with the forward air yet again. He keeps getting caught by that combustion. going to save the day, get him towards the mid screen of the stage. Catches the roll. Gets the up smash, and now we got one stock apiece. Kia Rash resetting the neutral. So I'm just going to jump off stage and reset this thing, man. I don't like the way he's looking on the... Oh! My God. Now, that could have went terrible for him. I mean, it still did at the end of the day, but good Lord, you could have got yourself killed. I mean, under normal circumstances, that down air from Kia Rash was fantastic. However, when you're playing a character like Crumb, who has armor on his up B, he can avoid that. Turn the tables on you, and he's going to take that stock to the shop. That was a fantastic trade because he was at a high percent. Turn it into a one stock shop. I 100% agree with that decision. The same could be said for Luigi here, but like we go for something that risky. No. Most, most your, oh my God. Wait, oh, a rare drop right there. Yeah, I might have misspoke earlier. Okay, hasn't been on the money with all of his conversions that ended up special, but still looking good. Okay, he's able to up special through the tether grab off the ledge. And yes, hit that man with the gut check. The F smash closes it out. I 100% agree with that decision. Now he's caught in this corner. I like the downer attempt, forcing him to get up and do a new get up off the ledge pinning him down in the corner and yes keep up the pressure going coast to coast one in the smashville to the other you know what i'm saying we got to see how this is going to happen here because you know hana is going to have to slay this final soccer to potentially push it to a game five the way kia rash has been playing right now with the entire weight of the world pretty much on his shoulders i mean how to you know shut the oh my gosh shut the forward smash but hold on a got, hold on a just a damn minute here okay oh down throw Oh my lord, the up air right into the backer again, patented Luigi stuff. Yeah, I mean, he's really struggling right now. Again, it just goes back to what I talked about before. That's kind of those linear approach options with, with Ike. I mean, you know it's coming. Oh, grab some right out of his up special. All right, I don't care if the sword in your hand or not. You're getting grabbed and you're getting up smashed and you are getting sent down, not just into the loser's bracket, but you're getting sent home, my friend. Kia Rash in a phenomenal just you know, performance here. I mean, shutting the door on Larry Lurie, shutting the door on Hanayome, who gave us some of the finest Krom gameplay and I gameplay that we have seen this weekend shuts it down and he's punched himself a ticket here in the losers finals as he will face off against MBD, my friends. Again, welcome back. If you're just tuning in, you just missed a hell of a set, but we got a couple more to go. I'm Rod, still kicking with my boy Aussie, man, and we are still hanging in here. I am so excited how these matches are wrapping up because I know that as great as they are, they're going to finish into something even more spectacular. Let's go ahead and get right into this game here. We got a bomber man. Yeah, I'm just gonna call him bomber man for this game. I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm my down. Ready. Yes, I'm ready to get my brain ready just in case they finally put him in the game. Bomber man here on Larry Lur's behalf. Kia Rash with the Luigi. Let's get it. So Larry Lur has been streaming a bit, right? Oh. And he had the audacity to say that me brawler was better than Fox and has become a me brawler man. Has embraced his inner me brawler. Has got a lot of like tools in his kit that he can get a lot of cheese you know what i'm saying but speaking of cheese you get one grab from luigi it's going to turn into a luigi cyclone one way trip to the top of the stage again is near enough to ko at this percent probably not but it's certainly enough to keep luigi in a weird position which is where he doesn't need to be nor does he need to be on the receiving end of a bomberman f smash great gameplay right here from larry lur see if he can get some more damage off of it but not too much uh, and there's the site luigi cyclone again down b all the way up to the top of the stage and that's one of the downsides of being above luigi is he can just go for that quick burst option if you don't if you don't think it's coming 
Yeah, and on top of this, you know, oh, Lord, okay. Every time I see a Luigi grab, I'm like, here's the analysis. But no! let me see Justin, oh my goodness. And putting those dirty plumber boots on top of the cleanliness that is, or at least that was Bomberman. He's no longer a thing in this game. Let's see how it all unfolds right here. Bomberman back onto the screen. And again, just really focusing on getting handsy with Luigi. I just don't know if that's a game I want to play with Luigi, man. I just, I feel like, of course, me brawler, oh, excuse me, Bomberman. Uh, you know, no projectiles, you know, oh my goodness, no projectiles and once more being sent to the top by Kia Rash, my lord. Oh! Ah! Man, every single time he gets caught by that Nair, it's taking him for a trip. Already 63 damage into his first, uh, Kia Rash. Oh my lord, yeah, I, oh my god, the, the dice are just not rolling in Larry Lur's favor. I'm not saying that Kia Rash is playing off of luck or anything like that. Kia Rash, of course, is a phenomenal player. And he, Deserves every bit of, you know, flower that he gets here while he can most certainly still smell him. But Kia Rash right now just playing with some new energy. Oh, 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 oh. no, he did not. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. Kia Rash on the money here. Larry Lur is getting just lapped and just destroyed here in this set. I got to see the wolf or the falco. Just for Rod, I, I, I was just going to say, I don't, I, bro, I have not. Are we watching a tournament set? I or are we watching a combo video? Like, I, I gotta know. They need that one hit to turn into something else. You cannot afford for your combos to not be crisp here. And Kia Rash proving that his might be just a little crispier today. Oh my lord, the down tilt right into the grab again. That is some fighting game community stuff if I've ever seen it right there. Kia Rash right here leaving a big old rash on Larry Lur, bro. Anything's possible here. He could easily do a reverse 3-0 if he just gets that one more stock. It's still possible. He's gotta avoid the grab or the nair. There's the Nair, gonna be able to survive 91%. Lord, oh my God, I'm scared, dude. That F smash was just, was just there. Okay, don't get too- He's hungry for it. Wait a minute, did he do it? The side blast zones are criminally short here. Yes. Let's see what the option is here, 113. He charged that smash attack. Kirash could easily react to that, even in an online environment with the down B. Stuffs him out with the back air. It's gonna be first stock going to Kirash. That's right. I love that too. Understanding he's going for a high recovery. Probably gonna land a little off. <laughs> go ahead and take this platform away from him. Let me go ahead and take that stock away from you right here. Dude, Larry has landed down with an aerial almost every single time. The one time he doesn't, gets a grab. Starting to play a little bit around the mental game here. I'll see if he can keep this going up. Nair out of shield just to get rid of that burst option. Kia Rash very hungry for the grab. Gets it from the turnaround. Good DI from Larry. Not going to be able to get it. Oh, and it's there into another grab. He keeps Yang away. No, he's going airborne. He doesn't want to get grabbed anymore. But now he has him off stage. He's going to go for it. Ledge trapping. He gets away off the platform. 97%. Can he do something? Oh, my Lord. The question is, can he and will he? Because the Oh, no, you did not. The he's alive. He's alive. He's alive, but for how much longer? That was great DI right here from Larry Lur. Bomberman, Bomberman, oh Bomberman! He needs to close this out right now. He's off stage 120. He gets back on there, barely surviving, and all of a sudden, this might be it. This might be it. This might be it. Luigi Cyclone ending the stock, ending the set. Kirash moving through the bracket as he goes on into loser semis. Larry Lur going down at a fifth place finish, ending. His massive losers run. Congratulations to Kia Rash. He has to fade away, so it makes his recovery just a little bit more tricky. I mean, if he wants to get by, oh no, speaking of being hit by, here comes the mega combo. My God, already got him at 94% off of his uh, one missed tech. Able to jab lock that into two PK fires. And climbing too, that was really smart. He knew that he was gonna try to uh, smash the yeah, excuse me, out of the first one. And said, I'm gonna toss out the second one, but MVD tossed out some big hit boxes of his own, AKA that F smash, and it has been. The, his entire game plan is centered around manipulating his opponent to go the way that he wants him to, Ooh. because if you don't go the way he wants you to, you're gonna die to a C4 or a grenade. In the middle of the C4, in case MVD wants to get a little bit trigger happy and pull out that explosion, because one C4 is gonna heal him for like 20%. PK Thunder not gonna be able to give him enough distance. Unfortunate early death for him. MVD is gonna try to take that to the bank. Gonna drop down through the platform with a back air. He's rolling away from these explosions. MVD has the advantage. He's gonna go off super deep instead of just chasing him with the same Nikita missile. Gets caught by the back air from Send. Off stage. Send could have potentially just died if MVD just would have stayed on the stage with a Nikita missile. Maybe that situation wouldn't have happened, but send from the deepest, darkest ways of disadvantage, catches the kick, gets him off the cypher, and steals the game from MBD. Send, good lord. 
Now he's mad. Because he, he bet a lot on that back air, right? Because it could have worked if he managed to catch him if send off to go for a high recovery instead. And because of that, maybe his mental game's not there anymore, but he's got to shake that off. Because right now, he is getting comboed, and he needs to dig deep to find something here. He manages to finally push him off stage. Yes, he's off stage, stuck into this corner. But the percent's certainly not going in his favor. Now, we got a lot of room to work with, but those platforms are serving Snake no justice. Any character... No. Oh, my Lord. Yes, these platforms are doing you no justice. Any character that can apply pressure that's very quick, looking to turn it into something. Like MVD has shown historically in a set that he's pretty proficient at, at SDIing out of that. Oh, my Lord. Yes, the patented... What are you going to press? And it, honestly, it doesn't matter because I'm off of my feet right into the up tilt. Okay, getting a little fearless on send here. Air dodge right through that Nikita. Gonna try to catch this landing. Eats the air dodge. The PK Thunder allows him so much option coverage with that because he can control it so, like, easily. And that 122% connects the back air, catches the roll, and that's gonna be Sen with a taunt saying, okay, I'm in grand finals here. You know, pushing that uh, advantage state against Luigi there. But with MVD playing, oh my goodness, he just mm. scooped him up and he's done. What is that? He is out of there, bro. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to explain something. He was like, wait, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. Watch this stock real quick. <laughs> oh, no back air punish. Wow. Oh, up smash. There it is. He's gone. Hey, it's Chat, y'all been playing here. Pokemon Snap, bro? What are y'all playing right now besides Smash, huh, chat? But, but TK, you know 80% of Smashers only play Smash, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. <laughs> um, Playing some League. Are we back into the match now? Are we actually? Oh playing? wait, are we done with the lag test? That's like the, the classic like snake. I'm just trying to trade. You have the beer versus option. Having those tether grabs must be like just generally really nice against that strategy. Well, uh, this you know I feel like with all this time though. Well, who lag tested? I'm gonna. That's what I want to know. Who initiated Ooh, it? It had to be NVIDIA. That's... Like it had to be NVIDIA. Like he's the one that did. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it was definitely NVD. Um. So. <laughs> <laughs> you did the oh. classic answer your own question. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. Is. I am definitely watching the wrong thing. All right. What, what, what are you, what, I was like, are you watching the, are you watching the, the watching stream? the same thing TK is watching right now? No, nah, I think you might be watching the stream. Did you see that yeah, port yeah. air? All right. Yeah, like, <laughs> all right, just make sure you saw that, bro. The port air out <laughs> in the building. Now, MVD, bro, like, yeah, he got on this last. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Of all the moves to, chaos, yeah. to kill, is that one. Oh, okay. Gets oh, okay. Gets up there. He almost actually uh, killed him with the bomb. Okay, MVD still racking up this damage. Nikita, the easy bake edge guard coming through. But wait a minute, no. we got rage. Why got would rage. you? No. <gasps> oh, he messed it up. He didn't want to win. <laughs> oh no. Still possible. So close to hitting, but Go. one of these missiles gonna hit. MVD getting himself a little bit of a lead here. That back air is going to find its sweet spot, too. Got the worker's boots on. You know what I'm saying? Still oh, toes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, big damage here. No double jump. Not going to chase him down here. Just going to opt for that stage control. And you want some right out of the air. Up, down, all around. Look at how much damage he took. Yeah, that was still going. quite a bit. Uh-oh. Cross up the yeah, uh, that's, is that, I was gonna say, Don't let that be stock right there, but MVD... Going way high up, trying to get away from uh, Kiarash. Kiarash definitely just came back on this second stock and exploded on him real quick. We need, honestly, yeah. he hasn't really got... Oh! He, he didn't get a hit for, like, so long, so... I thought of, like, you know, collateral grenade damage, so that was big stock right there for Kiarash. But Kiarash, man, he's really catching on to when MVD is going to go into the air. Oh! Okay. Top the Tiger hit Dragon. Oh! Okay. Damn. All right. That's kind of like the way he makes you play the game, basically. Uh, you're gonna have to space well and avoid things like that because Kiarash finds those like it's nothing. The Sour Nair isn't gonna really convert, but Luigi does have those stray options that can KO. Back air, up smash, gotta watch it. Yeah, best mess. Oh, is that it? Oh, man. Yeah, like, best mess is like, he, he can't get no space, bro. I mean, the, the spacing on that was perfect, too. Like, he already knew uh, best mess was gonna try to go for some. Wait, you stood up? You wild for that. Ooh, Not the get okay. up attack. Okay, well we're weird. He's mixing it up on what he what he wants to finish with for sure. He's like, I'm gonna get up and get this grab though. Uh oh. Yep, that's it. Yeah, he's way down there. You have double jump. Wait. Yep. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, I was ready to say, hold on now. If it wasn't yeah, for yeah. that PK Thunder though, I mean that was something. Yeah, I think he actually would have made it back. 
Um, the one mix-up that, or it's not the only mix-up, but one of the bigger... Ooh, up to it! Uppy, what a conversion! Not even a dash back from both players? You know everybody hits that dash back once it starts, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they, oh, well, he dashed in and now he's punched out, so that's <laughs> not what you're trying to do there. Right, Gotta get back to the stage, and there it is. Okay. okay, just holding the center. Okay, there. There yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah. It, it there was like... it is. They're running it right back. No waste yeah. of time. That's the uh, the salty run back right there. Same stage. We're going back. All right, PS2. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, the way, dude, <laughs> straight to the center, man. Right into the Pokeball. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm I trying to crap. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, I like the DI getting away from that neutral air. Still got hit by it, but didn't get hit or by the down air. Didn't get hit downward, which is the main thing you want here. And wow, that, that was a fast punish. Like, I don't even think that forward air was done. Like, that, that's really his one chance of getting back into this game. What's the punish here? PK grab? fire? No. Okay, I thought, I thought maybe because we were so close to the edge, we could have got a nice little grab back throw with all this rage. And uh, not dying yet, but <gasps> they got to give it to... Yo! Did he kick wow. through that? Okay, snatched him up. 100% rage on the send here. Let's see if he can bring this into a game number five here for the first set. Of course, even if he loses, there's still the second set of grants. Great DI away. Um, even I'm, I'm very surprised that DI away even worked because, you know, Kirash Ooh. has no rage. But wow, look at that. We're, we're cooking. Oh, my. Oh, oh you, you're lucky. You're lucky. Oh, I thought that, that was the game for sure. I like that. Get away. Just step away because you keep trying to go for the shield grab. That's what's getting you beat out. Beat the roll. Sin playing on this last stock quite perfectly, but still, man, it's only one hit away. The new slayer to go ahead and stuff that. Yo, the footstool! Yo, the back oh. air! Oh Yo. <laughs> the extended edge guard off the footstool TK. What was that? Hey, all right, man. All right, Sandy, you're the goat. That Luigi backer is very, very strong if you get that sweet spot. See if you got the double jump. Caught the tail, and that's all you need. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. In fact, it's definitely better for him to catch the tail than the actual hitbox. He yep. doesn't want to give it a chance to pop up, so good stuff uh, to send. Making sure we get even. You're wild. You're okay. wild. Okay. You're absolutely disrespectful, and you deserve to lose. Like, that is. <laughs> you deserve to lose, all right? Yo, but if you hit it, though. <laughs> thought he would have thought he was a genius for sure. <laughs> Gotta get back to the stage real quick. This looking a little rough. The P I don't. I cannot believe he's hitting me. The PK plank, man. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> the PK flashes. The PK thunders. All right, all right. So he's gonna have intangibility coming here, but no double jump. The chops. No, get off. Well, that's it. That's that the was... game. <laughs> <laughs> And that was the game, folks. Just was not expecting Ness to throw out a forward air. Are you? Did you forget who that? That's Ness. Okay.